In the loose lounge, we are joined by the lady who won the nation's hearts after her stint on Strictly. It is Lisa Riley. Yay! And we will be talking Christmas dinners with this morning's Phil Vickery. Yay! On today's show, as David gives Alfonso a motivational tone, on a more serious note, we will be discussing the drug addict who has been criticised for returning to his habits after receiving a £40,000 NHS heart transplant to save his life. Should doctors be able to prioritise transplant patients based on their lifestyle choices? Tell us what you think about what we're chatting about today. Email us at loose.women at itv.com, post on our Facebook page or tweet us using the hashtag loosewomen. You need to get your comments in by 1pm. And... Uh, not only that, but we'll also be taking your calls today. We want to hear from you. If you are on the, uh, lo the list waiting for a transplant, do you think that doctors should prioritise transplant patients based on lifestyle choices? Maybe you think that uh, those who are healthier should be top of the list, or maybe you're on the list and you don't think that what you do in your private life should even come into it. Tell us what you think. Call 0330 123 31. Standard call charges apply. Please check with your operator. And lines close at 1 p.m. as well. Please don't call if you're watching us on uh, Plus One or On Demand. But first, today, should married couples be given tax breaks? Chancellor George Osborne is set to announce in his autumn statement tomorrow plans to give married couples a tax cut worth as much as £150 a year. What's more, David Cameron has said that those that get hitched will get even bigger breaks if the Tories win the next election. It's not a popular idea with everyone, and the Lib Dems are uh, refusing to back the policy, saying that it's a backward step that will penalise single parents, widows and cohabiting couples. So, should the government prioritise the married, Nadia? Oh, these flaming Tories and their obsession with marriage. I am married and I love being married, but I don't think it's the only way to be. And when we talk about £150, realistically, with the cost of living that we have in this country, how far is 150 quid going to go? But what's going to actually cost the country is between six and £700 million. Pounds. For what? To say, you're a good girl, you're a good boy, you're doing it the right way. L like, like you just said, what about the single parents, the widows? the people that live together. Yeah. I just think marriage is great if you like marriage. If you don't, it's a free country. But the, pro the problem is with this, uh, we have got broken society everywhere. We can't keep harping on about... I mean, I, I know so many people who have got kids at school and there's only two of them in the class whose parents are married. I don't think Surely, 50 but kids are going to make it. Does, it's, it's irrelevant. It's the message, I think, that is going mm. out, that we should, we should try and get family units back together. And so... I'm usually not, you know, into Tory policies, but, <laughs> but saying that, you know, I think we should try and do anything that is going to bring family units mm. together and any help that they can get and, and celebrate marriage. And we don't, yeah, well, I don't think we should necessarily uh, break this down into one political party. This is a government that is trying mm. across the board to try and uh, mm. bring families back together and perhaps give some sort of incentive. So I don't know if it's necessarily I think it's kind of thing. sad, though, that someone would get married because, oh, we get an extra £150. No. I mean, hopefully but you're going to get married because yeah. you love someone want to mm. spend the rest of your life yeah. with them. But, you know, sadly, I think there probably is people out there that will go, do you know what, we may as well get married hmm. you know what I mean and, and it'll so cost you a lot more than 150 pounds <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's more what Jane is saying it's giving out a message hmm. that's what they want to do they're giving out a message saying our way is the only way that being married is the decent and the right way to be it is for some people it's not for others and that's just fine hmm. you know uh, I think Absolutely, I believe, of course. We know, research shows that most children want their parents to stay together. They do. Even if they're in hellish mm. um, relationships, they still want them to be together. We know that. And absolutely, we, you know, we all want to advocate families staying together. But I think for what ends up for each family getting £150, what actually does that do? It's a badge that costs 150 quid and mm. costs the country 700 million that we don't have. So to me, it just, it just, seems, it just seems fluffy. But well, don't you think, that, again, picking up on what Jane said, that we, we have to do something? I mean, all, all of, yeah, all of us, mm. we're all divorced. Mm. Some all remarried right. and... No, but we've all, <laughs> we've all been... What I'm saying is that we have all been through it, Colleen Nolan. Um, and, and some, you know, like you, mm. uh, and, and you, Nadia, we have gone on to, you know, get married again, uh -huh. have children and, and what have you. And absolutely, I'm sure you would mm. say that you're in a happier place mm. now. Uh, I'm, I'm divorced. I'm, a, I'm, I'm in the nasty camp. 
I'm a sing, you know, <laughs> single parent of, of children. Um, and I know that th they would prefer it. So surely, uh, are they, I mean the children, um, the, the government has to make us uh, try and do something to, even if it is fluffy, to try and encourage people. Well, oh. you know what, I think as well it does come down to the kids' situation because um, Kira, I think, was six when we eventually got married. And she was very happy, you know, happy up till that point. It wasn't a case of, oh, I really want you and Dad to get married. But it was really funny because on the wedding day, she actually said to me, I'm so happy you and Dad have got married. Mm. And you know what? It felt... Different. It really... You can't describe it to mm. anybody who's been in a long relationship and not married. They go, it can't be any different. But there's just a feeling it's just different. My sister was with her... <laughs> was with her boyfriend for 22 years wow. and it was only when her son was expecting his second grandchild her second grandchild that she said I think we should get married <laughs> and she said to me she said I don't think it'll make any difference but again mm. she came up to me and said you're so right I feel different it feels complete there was a lovely article in the paper over the weekend uh, no, the weekend, uh, the, other, the other day rather uh, with a gentleman and they'd been together for a very long time they're in their 60s and uh, he couldn't really see the point in it and thought mm. we'll, give, well you know we'll give it a go and um, we, we've obviously been talking about kids and whether they prefer to see their parents together obviously you, you know you're in a situation you've been mm -hmm. engaged for, for quite a while yeah well, do you think that it would make a difference to, to your relationship if you actually did I think we, if we had children yes but saying that I, I mean I'm, I'm waiting for selfish reasons because uh, uh, he doesn't draw his pension for another four years <laughs> <laughs> so uh, <laughs> but you see we would have got married quicker but it keeps going up now because we've got you know so <laughs> you're hanging in there I'm hanging in there till he's got an income that I know is, is stable <laughs> And, uh, and and that's it. But yeah, well, I think when there's children involved, does Wolf come into it? Anyway? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I like the guy. Well, you could get an extra hundred and fifty quid now if I you know, get married. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that'll just uh, yeah, that'll uh, forget it. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> but, we, but we were we were joking as, as well about the fact that you know it's one hundred and fifty pounds a year, um, and you talk about how much it actually costs. Heather's got in touch via Facebook and said, "I'm not married, but I've been with my boyfriend for eight years. We have a four-year-old boy. I uh, was struggling to afford certain little things these days, let alone getting married. So how is it fair that married couples get priority?" Mm. So I mean, she actually raises a really good point that it is so expensive in the first place to get married. Why? No, only should if you... it's not. Doesn't have to. Doesn't have to be. It is if you want the big lavish wedding. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be that. No, no I agree. But uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I hear what you're saying. But most people who decide, right, we're going to do this, let's make an occasion of it. There's mm -hmm. very few people would, you know, do it for 150 pounds or less. So Don't how you do agree? you feel about well, it? Because you're not married, so you won't, you won't benefit from this. I ain't tax. never doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, I yeah. think. <laughs> I tried that, it doesn't matter. <laughs>